Hi all, welcome to my channel, Master Computer Science Subjects. This is a video in continuation with my subject, System Software and uh, Compiler Design. In my previous video, we have discussed about the addressing modes of SIC machine architecture. Now, the same addressing mode we will understand better by looking into some examples. Right? So, this is the structure of the memory. And these are the addresses of the memory locations. And in the corresponding address, there is some data. For example, at the address 3030, the data what is available is 03600. Similarly, memory addresses are given and the corresponding data is also displayed. So this is the structure of the memory. Apart from the memory, the content of base register, the content of program counter and the content of index register is given. Right, let us look into the table now. In this table, there is opcode. Apart from opcode, N, I, X, B, P, E. The 6-bit information is given. Already we discussed about uh, the 6 bits and the combination of these bits, what kind of addressing modes it refers. All this information I have discussed in the previous video. Please refer to the previous video and get back to this video. And displacement. Totally the length is 24 bits it is totally 24 bits in length almost all the examples only the last example the length is little different we know that in sic machine architecture format 3 is of length 3 bytes it means 24 bits so already the object code is given from the object code we are going to understand what type of addressing mode it refers to all the instructions are of same because opcode uh, looks similar. In the opcode field, that is 6 bits, all are zeros. In fact, it refers to the instruction mnemonic LDA. For LDA, the corresponding hexadecimal value is 0, 0. When you convert this into binary information, it occupies the 6 zeros. Okay, now let us look into this very first example. Opcode is 6 bits n is equal to 1, i is equal to 1. Whenever n and i values are set to 1, it refers to SIC XC architecture. x is equal to 0, b is equal to 0, p is equal to 1, e is equal to 0. When e is equal to 0, it refers to format 3 instruction. Look into the combination of b and p. p is equal to 1. When p is equal to 1, it refers to PC relative addressing mode. So, the first instruction refers to PC relative addressing mode. How did we come to this conclusion? Because of the bit combination, B is equal to 0, P is equal to 1. When B is equal to 0, P is equal to 1, it is PC relative addressing mode. How do we calculate the target address if it is PC relative addressing mode? Target address is to be calculated by adding the contents of PC with the displacement field. So what is the content of PC? Content of PC is 003000. So 003000. Now this is being added with the displacement field. What is there in the displacement field? Let us convert it into hexadecimal value. This is 600. So, if I add 600, zero, zero, the resulting address is 003600. Zero, 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 zero. The important information is all these values are in hexadecimal. So, we have to convert this binary information also into hexadecimal and then add. So, the target address is 003600. Zero, 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 zero. Right. So, the meaning of this instruction is load accumulator. And memory location is given. What do you mean by load accumulator? From this memory location, accumulator is to be loaded with the data. So, what is the data available in this memory location? In this memory location, 3600. Yes, this memory location is available here. The data what is available is 10300. So, accumulator must be loaded with the value for the first instruction. So, already I have uh, written what is the value to be loaded into the register. According to the first instruction, the value loaded into the register A or the accumulator is 103000. 0, 0, 0. 
right now let us look into the second example in the second example again the opcode is load accumulator n is equal to 1 i is equal to 1 x is equal to 1 if x is equal to 1 it refers to index addressing mode b is also equal to 1 it means base addressing mode p is equal to 0 e is equal to 0 because of these two bits it is very clear that the second instruction supports base plus indexed addressing mode index addressing mode if base plus index addressing mode how to calculate the target address target address can be calculated by adding the contents of base register with the index register along with the displacement field so what is there in the base register the base register contains a value 0 0 6 0 0 0 Index register contains a value 90, in fact. And let us check what is there in the displacement field. This is the displacement field. The displacement field contains 300. 300. If we add all these are hexadecimal values, if we add all these things, the resulting value is 6390. It's a hexadecimal value. Okay, now we found the target address. From this target address, we have to move the data to the accumulator. So, address is this. What is the data available in this address? 00C303. So, this is the value to be loaded into the accumulator as per the second instruction. I have numbered the instruction here. Okay, now let us look into the third instruction. In the third instruction, n is equal to 1 but i is equal to 0, x is equal to 0, b is equal to 0, and p is equal to 1, e is equal to 0. So, what type of addressing mode it is? If n is equal to 1, it is indirect addressing mode. At the same time, since p is equal to 1, it refers to PC relative addressing mode. So, for the third instruction, n is equal to 1, p is also equal to 1, it refers to PC relative plus indirect addressing mode. Indirect addressing mode. So, how do we find the target address? According to PC relative, target address is to be calculated by adding the contents of PC with the displacement. The content of PC is given as 3000 plus the displacement field as per this instruction is 0, 3, 0. 0, 3, 0. So, what is the effective address? The effective address is 3, 0, 3, 0. But at the same time, we need to remember, it also gives another information that it belongs to indirect addressing mode. What is indirect addressing mode? Okay, now let us understand that. Target address is 3, 0, 3, 0. So, let us look into the memory. In the target address 3030, what is the data available? 03600. It is actually not the data. It is the address of the data. Indirect addressing mode, at this location, there is another address 03600. Go to this address. Now, let us go to this address 03600. What is the data available? 10300. This is the data to be loaded into the accumulator. So, for the third instruction, the data to be loaded is uh, 103000. I hope you would have understood the indirect addressing mode properly. This is the target address we calculated as per PC relative addressing mode. From this address, go and check what is the data available. It is not the data. It is the address of the data. Again, go to this address. From this address, we need to fetch the data. Okay, third instruction is over. Now, let us move on to the fourth instruction. In the fourth instruction, i alone is set to 1. All the remaining bits are set to 0. When i is equal to 1, it refers to immediate addressing mode. What do you mean by immediate addressing mode? Immediate addressing mode means the data itself is part of the instruction. The displacement field is actually the data or the operand. So, what is there in the displacement field? In the displacement field, we have 0, 3, 0. So, 
for the fourth instruction the accumulator is to be loaded with the value 30 so this is the data for the fourth instruction now let us look into the last example in the last example e is set to 1 whenever e is set to 1 it refers to format 4 instruction in format 4 instruction it directly facilitates to store the complete address of the data see we have uh, 4 plus 4 actually 20 bit uh, information is available directly I can um, find out the address from this 20 bit information what is the address where the data is available from this 20 bits we can easily identify what is that so this refers to the hexadecimal value 0 this is 8 plus 4 12 means it is uh, C this is 3 this is 0 this is 3 so what is the address this information gives 0 C 3 0 3 in this address only the data is available let us go to this address the address is here what is the data available 3030 so for the fifth instruction the data to be loaded into the accumulator is 3030 with these examples I hope you would have understood the addressing modes once again let me just highlight the points in this case P is equal to 1 so it is PC related to addressing mode in the second example B is also 1 P is also 1 sorry X is also 1 B is also 1 it means it is base indexed addressing mode when the N and I are set to 1 it refers to SIC XC architecture right for the third example again P is equal to 1 as well as N is also equal to 1 it is PC relative plus indirect addressing mode in the fourth example only I is equal to 1 it refers to immediate addressing mode in the fifth example the value E is equal to 1 it means it is format 4 instructions we don't need to calculate the address here because there is a space to store the complete address in this instruction format so directly you can find out the address and we can fetch the data okay these are the examples which has explained the addressing mode uh, I request all my viewers to subscribe to my channel and continue watching for the rest of the videos. Thank you.